along in my automobile My baby beside me at the wheel my name's Travis Moore. I'm a local LA artist. I've been here in LA for about 10 years now. I moved to 105. I'm originally from Texas. I mean, I've been drawing or I've been working uh, in various different types of media. I normally do work with the Whiskey Go Go and the Rainbow Bar and Grill. Done a lot of commission work uh, for rock stars. Um, done some stuff for Nikki Six. Done stuff for Jane's Addiction. I mean, I've been creating art. Uh, since the time I was a small child. I actually even had a three panel strip in a local paper when I was five. Um, I always thought that I would do something with art. I usually do this the short prism, uh, and that's something I've been doing for about 15 years now. Um, in fact, like my final piece as a senior in college was a short prism piece. It was actually turned down for a seniorship, but I've held it this whole time, I always felt like that that's what I do best. I allow people to see what they need into it, what they want to get into it, see what they want to see. I mean, it's obviously a different vignette, and they uh, make up a larger image. When it does that, I call it analytic sharpness. Some of these pieces make two or three different images. And I just allow it, like I said, I allow it to, it's a stream of consciousness thing. I allow it just to come out. Whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. Once I see what it's starting to do, I have an opportunity to start guiding it. And then I realize what it's wanting to do, what it's wanting to do, so then I do that. The piece that I did for Nikki, for Nikki Six, uh, is of his hands and uh, some imagery from Heroin Diaries, because I was reading his autobiography while I was doing these. So sometimes I'll use other media, other types of entertainment or other art to you know, influence me. Right now I'm working on the Lindy Kilmeister statue from Rainbow Bar and Grill. I sketched some stuff up and then kind of came up with an idea. And then I uh, started doing this maquette to start out with. I did an 18 inch maquette. Um, started out with just wire and foil and you know, whatever. And then grew with clay, I added clay to it, and then created this 18-inch rendering of what Lem would look like. I'm working with Matt Glenn uh, out of Provo, Utah, and so he's taking the, the photograph, he took the maquette, took the images, and he's, now he's translating that into a full size. So I'm just excited about that. I think I make good feel-good art, you know, that's kind of my idea, I want to spread happiness, you know, because that's what we really need, love, you know, not war, not hate, not prejudice. As I create more art, maybe I'll create more happiness, and as a result, maybe we'll be in a better place. So, I mean, that's my goal, you know. Um, I want to be able to, to make enough money doing this, and that this is what I do, and I don't have to do other things. And I've been pretty good here lately. I've had a good run. What I do is a gift. I mean, you don't learn this.